yeah, it's been obviously a long time since you've been back there. Just wondering how you look back on your time at Liverpool as a player. Yeah, I, I came like a young boy, you know, from Czech League. No one knows me, so uh, it was in the beginning it was a little bit difficult, you know, because uh, to get used to of the of the pace and uh, the English football, it was difficult. But then, you know, uh, I enjoyed, you know, I spent nearly four years here and uh, we won the Champions League. So uh, uh, the fans was uh, amazing, you know, the, the stadium was perfect. So uh, I was really happy that I spent four years here. Yeah, and how difficult was that decision, you know, growing up as a young player to make that leap to join Liverpool? It was always my dream to play in England and uh, when I get the offer, you know, to play for uh, Liverpool, uh, it was, it was, uh, the dream came true. So uh, it wasn't difficult, I just uh, tried to do my best, you know, so just uh, came here, worked hard and uh, in the end I uh, get to the first team and uh, we had some success as well, so it was, it was, it was brilliant. Yeah. And what about the reaction of your family when they found out about this move was going to happen? What were they saying to you about this move? You know, uh, we were preparing for that because uh, it was like maybe six, seven months before I moved to Liverpool. There was some uh, rumours that I uh, go abroad, you know. So uh, I was prepared for that. So uh, in the end, it was just, they just said good luck and enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, the one big game everyone remembers you for is the Champions League final in 2005. You're 3-0 down at half-time. What's the message in the change room that you have from the manager? No, it was, it was a lot of messages, you know. We had like uh, heads down and uh, someone just said, just uh, scored at least one goal for the fans which travelled to Istanbul, you know, that uh, they can celebrate at least one goal. And in six minutes it was 3-3, you know, so... <laughs> Uh, that game happened just one time in a hundred years, maybe, you know, so, but uh, especially it was on our side that we won it, you know, so it was, it was great. I mean, what were you thinking when it was 3-0? Did you still believe it was possible to do it? Uh, of course not, because uh, they had like uh, one of the best team on the world in that time, you know, AC Milan and 3-0 uh, uh, half-time. You know, it was it was difficult. You know, I, I just said, you know, uh, we just wanted to score at least one goal, and but in the end, uh, we came back, you know, to the game. And uh, since free free, I think everyone believed that, you know, because they uh, they were down in that time, and uh, we were like uh, full of the strength, you know. So in the end, it was for us. Yeah. And how did you find all the celebrations that came after the game? You know, coming back to Liverpool for the parade. And how difficult was it to refocus after such an experience like that? No, of course, because it was the end of the season, you know. So uh, we just came back and uh, we celebrate already in Istanbul. Then we had like the the bus uh, trip uh, through the city. So it was amazing, you know. The people were cheering, you know. So uh, that was that was great. That was great. Yeah, and, and during your time at Liverpool, obviously you had some injury problems which halted your progress. How much of a frustration is that for you, looking back at your career now? You know, the injuries, it's a part of the football, you know, so uh, obviously it's not easy. Especially after the, the, the Euro 2004, I think I start well, you know, the season here, then I get injured for four months and uh, I didn't get back, you know, then uh, to that top form and then I, then I had to leave, you know, so... Uh, of course, now uh, in that age, I would uh, fight a little bit more to stay in Liverpool and uh, try to try to get fit again and uh, try to play for this club. But you know, in that time, uh, I was deciding to leave because I wanted to play more. And uh, in the end, I know it was a mistake. You said it was a mistake. Did you have? I know you left very early on in the 2005-06 season, but did you just feel like you had to go at that point? There was no other option for you. Oh, I was told that I'm going to be like first striker, you know, and uh, but you know, there is a lot of games, uh, a lot of injuries, you know, so uh, I should fight more for the for the plays and uh, uh, try to stay a bit longer. I, I could stay, but I decided to go, you know, because I wanted to play more. Yeah. That was a decision, but in the end, you know, you never know what's happened. So <laughs> You then remained in the Premier League for a little bit. How did you then find coming up against Liverpool? after you left the club, how strange was that for you? Of course it was strange because you played uh, against the team which you've been for, for four years, for example, and 
it's uh, it's never easy, but uh, you know you you always find the the bigger motivation for the for the previous club, which if you play against them, you know. So uh, I was enjoying it in that games. I, I think I played just twice or something like that. So there there wasn't a lot of games. So yeah, and obviously you're now retired from professional football. How difficult was that for you to make that decision to call time on your career? Ah, uh, in the end, it wasn't difficult, you know, because uh, I was injured all the time and uh, I couldn't train properly, I couldn't play properly, you know, so I was always injured and uh, uh, you can't stop the time, so I was nearly 39, so um, I had a long career, you know, so I played uh, a lot of games, a lot of years. I enjoyed, of course, in the end, uh, when you have to say stop, it's not easy, but uh, now I'm okay, you know, I'm enjoying, you know. And what about your plans for the future? Is there anything you're hoping, you know, any projects you're working on, anything you like to get involved in? We had some projects, but the COVID, they stopped everything, you know. So now we start uh, again and uh, we'll see what's, what's, what's going to happen, you know. Uh, we have some, uh, some project in the football in Czech, then uh, something uh, around the world as well. So we'll see what's going to happen. We just start to, start to work on that again. <laughs>